I have uh, uh, this hat on me because I want to show that I am a Muslim and I can live here with peace. Let us be honest. There are people listening to me right now and millions more around the world who believe there is no such thing as a good Muslim. Perhaps you don't want to hear it, but you know this is the sad truth. There are also those who believe violence is the only thing Muslims understand. Again, a sad and incorrect way of thinking by many people. But there is a way for Muslims around the world to change that. But it will not happen overnight. Our guest is a Muslim, one who has spent years studying the origin of the faith and the Holy Quran, putting his findings into the book Angels Are Crying, an analysis of Islam's true original message and its lost absence in the 50 Islamic countries. Let's welcome Mohammed Rahman to Midpoint. Mohammed, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I want to get right down to what is a, a specific of the book. What then is the original intent of the Quran? Because I know you've read it. I know you've seen it. People out there who say that it is a book based on violence and hate and killing the infidel. What's the original? The original has nothing to do with that. The disconnect actually has happened after the Quran. Uh, the Quran uh, is, is what uh, in general you hear from people. It's all about peace. It's about acceptance. It's about uh, uh, intelligence. It's about uh, information. Uh, you know, it has respect in it. But everything that has happened after uh, Prophet Muhammad passed away in the name of Islam, has, that's where the disconnect lies. And that's where the problem is today. Uh, you know, that, that is, is that just simply the point end of human man, uh, man taking the words and then just misconstruing them, extrapolating them, doing whatever they want in order to just make it fit what the human wants and not what the prophet wanted? No, the prophet, the Quran is, the, uh, according to Islam, is the word of God. So if everybody is stuck to that, then there wouldn't be any problem because the words are very simple. The words of the Quran has not, is, is not misleading. What has happened is that uh, people came up after approximately 150 years with uh, the Sunnah and the Hadith, which are unauthentic stories. Well, that is it then. It's, it's people who did that. It is, not the, it is not the originator. It is not God who has said this. It is the people who've come later who have basically bastardized the Quran, if you will. Well, uh, and not only that, they continue to that today. And that is why uh, if, you, if you look at, at, at even present circumstances in the last six months, you see France, you see Tunisia, like uh, it happened yesterday, you see Denmark, you see Pakistan, and, and you, know, you see all these problems uh, cropping up everywhere because uh, the message is wrong. The disconnect is there. I mean, I, I hate to say it, they're, they're, the, 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 the maximum number of any book in this world has to be the Quran. There has to be like five billion Qurans in this world. But five billion different Qurans or just one that says the same message? One Quran. Just okay. they, so, so, thank God they haven't changed the Quran. But well, but they have, it, haven't they though? Haven't people changed it over the years and no, made it into, a, into what many people see as a murderous no. Bible? What they have done is added on to it. And that's where the problem lies. And that's what the message in my book is, that if you go back to the Quran, that's fine. But what people do is they go back to Hadith and the Sharia laws, and that were incorporated 150 years later. So what they're, what they're talking about is a parallel to the Quran. And, and, and that, there then comes the sects and, uh, and, and, and the Shias and the Sunnis and the this and the that. And, uh, and, and, and then you got many different Pied Pipers and people are following them. Then if you have all of these people who then take the book and make it something else, I know your idea is to get people back to the origins of the Quran. All right, in a world today where people are always looking at this person as a prophet and this person as a self-described prophet, how do you then intend to get people, Muslims of the world, back to the faithful, back to the origin when it doesn't seem they want to? They, I don't know if they want to or they don't, and I really don't have a solution to that. But uh, as an author or as somebody who's studied the Quran uh, in depth, I, I don't find any, anything, any faults in it. And, and I would in like... In the Quran itself, you in don't the find Quran any faults itself. the way it is. But when you, once you go to, to the parallel stories and, uh, and you start, uh, you know, to say that, you know, if the Prophet walked on water, we're going to start walking on water too, it's not going to work because that's not how it was supposed to be. The Quran says it is a complete book. 
and, and you need to follow it. So if, if everybody followed it, there would be no ICs and there would be no crises because uh, uh, all these people are, are doing, uh, you know, unjustified uh, uh, situations and uncalled for situations in the name of the religion. Now we can all gather on TV or on shows and say it's a religion of peace. But the disconnect is there. And the disconnect didn't happen like yesterday. It happened uh, in 632 after the passing away of the prophet. Then how do we reconnect there? How do you then put people together with what is the origin of the Quran, the real message, and get them to stop using it as a device to behead people? Somebody's got to come up with that, and uh, Charlie Wilson tried that in Afghanistan. Had we followed that route, we wouldn't be in the mess we are in today. So uh, this is a start. I hope there are other people, especially the young, uh, you know, the educated people, they really want answers. I mean, uh, and, and, and the Quran does have the answers. Uh, they just need to see it is the only book in the world, uh, you know, people read the Bible and they understand it. If they're reading the Why Bible. Why is that? Just because the Bible's written simpler or no, it's, it's not it's as changed? The problem is in the Quran is that it's in Arabic. Now, if you go to countries like Pakistan, Indonesia, India, Bangladesh, and so many other countries, they, they read the Quran in Arabic, even though it says uh, in the Quran, read it and understand it, they don't want to understand it. They don't have the time to understand it. They were not taught from the, from, from, the, from the beginning to understand it. So if you're reading something and you have no idea of the, of the meaning, you go to the mosque and whatever the imam stands up, uh, now that depends on the imam. I've only got 30 seconds left, but isn't that a key point right now? Get the imams of the mosques to teach what is the original meaning of the Quran and not go off on the offshoots? They, the, what the imam should be doing is teaching from the Quran because it does have the stories, it does have the examples, and telling the kids that you can go to this verse in the Quran and, and read off it. And that, that's a Charlie Wilson kind of a solution. And speak, though, to the original Quran, not the ones that have been modified and changed over the decades, I, over the centuries. I have not come across a modified Quran. They have parallel laws that they have done with it, but the Quran stands uh, unified and in its original form. Stay with the original Quran. I want to remind everybody the book, once again, is called Angels Are Crying, an analysis of Islam's true original message and its lost absence in the 50 Islamic countries. Mohammed Rahman, I want to thank you so much for joining us and being very honest in your, in your thank opinions. Thank you for having well. me. Let's see if we can change something. It's got to start somewhere. There you go. Shot. A former official at the Justice Department has one word for Hillary Clinton's email excuse, Mrs. Clinton won't like it. We'll get that when we come back on Midpoint.